Hello everybody, I'm John Evans and you're watching another episode of Mid Mod Money, the show that teaches you, the viewer, how to buy and sell vintage items for a profit. Thanks for watching, everyone. Sincerely, it's Monday. Happy Monday, everybody. We find out today who wins the free vintage giveaway, which this month is a adorable big-eyed child with all her limbs and fingers. Perfect condition. The end of this episode, we're giving that away through the miracle of the Mid Mod Money Prize Wheel. There it is. 44 entries this month. So you got great odds this month. So one in 44. Let's go. Uh, but today I want to get to what I have for you, which is your what I would consider your average thrift store haul. This is a bring your lunch to work kind of garden variety mom and pop thrift store haul uh mostly from maryland i believe i haven't really investigated that part of it. but let's get to it um some really great things and just your your stuff that's going to help you pay rent in your booth if you've got a booth at an antique mall which i highly recommend the hair on there first thing i found at highland thrift store for three american dollars this pretty nice mid-century lamp uh, wood, wood, a little bit mid-century modern, you could even say. Um, cool lamp, $3. I mean, that's ridiculous. Even the shade's good. I don't even have to replace the shade. So, uh, I'm looking at $28.29 for a fast sale on this. I'll make $26 bucks off this lamp. I'm not going to get greedy with that because I found it so cheap in Grantsville, Maryland. Next thing I found now, the next cluster of things I found all in one place, one trip. Habitat for Humanity. Here's a tip. If you see something that is really cheap and they've got a lot of it, investigate it. Because even if you don't really collect that thing very hard or you don't normally look at those things, uh, you should because the price is right. So that's what happened here. All their mugs were a quarter, which, you know, is crazy when they're this nice. These are 1960s from Japan mugs. Uh, I'd love to have six of them, eight of them. That's just not the way the world works sometimes. This was a quarter each. I'm going to sell these for 10 bucks. So off of 50 cents, 950 in profit. And also these mugs. Oh man, it doesn't get more 60s than that late 60s kind of pop art mod look. These were a quarter each. I'm going to get 10 bucks for these. So. Yeah, if, if you see something dirt cheap, investigate and see what they got. Make sure you're not missing anything. Next thing I found, also at the Habitat Home Store, this frog for $1. Now, this is adorable, okay? First of all, it's the, one of those things you put your, your scrubby in, your dishwashing scrubby, set it by the sink. This was handmade. Can't really see it, but engraved there, it says Dottie. Great job, Dottie. You've crushed it. You destroyed it. That is a beautiful frog. Now, these go between 10, uh, 10 and 15 bucks. This one's got great color and no chips, no cracks. Speckle paint job. I'm going to ask 14 for the adorable. Fro I've had so many of these and sold them. They always sell. They're cute. Also from Habitat. They really delivered. This is one trip. This Pittsburgh Pirates ashtray commemorating their 71 world series now on there you can see it was a dollar 50 incredible dollar 50 i'm gonna sell this for 12 dollars easy money pure profit this is a you know a 50 year old ashtray for god's sakes and finally this monkey pod bowl 60s maybe 70s um Needs to be oiled on the side there, but it has a really good look to it. And these sell very well. This could be a fruit bowl. This could be a salad bowl. And this monkey pod says that on there. And, um, you know, it's an $18 bowl to me. I paid three bucks for it. So in one trip, I spent six bucks and I'm going to make $62 off of a $6 one time trip to the Habitat Home Store. Now, in your in your larger thrift stores, I found this at Goodwill for two dollars. Are we familiar with this? 
This is the Sony Dream Machine. A lot of people had this in the late 80s, uh, early uh, to mid 90s. And if you see this in the really flat version of this, which is, would mean early 80s, it's about a $50 radio. This one is, I'm going to say 23 bucks. These sell. People are nostalgic for this stuff because they had this growing up. And Sony always sells. And it's a cool look. I mean, this is a timeless, cool, kind of space age even look, even though this is uh, early 90s, early to mid 90s. Cool radio. And they sell. They sell very well. So I paid $2 at Goodwill. Going to make about 20 bucks off that. Now, the next thing I found, also very nice. Beautiful green jar. Here's what I don't like about it. That price seven bucks ouch but it's got a great floral design and it is in the best color you can find this in which is this green and uh, i know that this is about a 24 dollar jar i'd love to pick this up for 3.99 4.99 sometimes you got to pay what they're asking if you want it and when it's something that i know i can sell very easily i'll buy it i'll just pay it take the hit seven bucks wasn't gonna leave it there it's about a $24 jar. All right. Next thing I found in the category of electronics, this 1970s clock, this easy breezy, you know, go home and put a Neil Young record on your, on your hi-fi there and, and, and stare at this seagull, these two seagulls. I'm not crazy about the seagull thing, but I do like the disco font. I do like the mirrored uh, border. That's what's going to sell this. This is a very distinct 70s looking clock. Uh, and it was only two bucks at my local Goodwill. Two dollars is insane for this. Now, the, it does have one issue. Underneath this, it looks like it's dusty on the inside. So... I might have to get my clock guy, <coughs> fiance, to uh, take the back off of this because it would require messing with this. And I need to dust the front of this because that's, you know, you see that dust. It doesn't look great. But I know that this is about a $25 clock and two bucks. I wasn't, I mean, that's, that's a no-brainer for me. $2.70s clock. Also, tip, we've done this before. Old clocks, if you want to know it's old, they use a C battery almost exclusively. So if they're into double A's, you know it's newer. Okay, we're down to our last item, everyone. And this is a stunner, to be sure. I, when I saw this, when I crept up on this, I was like, no way that this is in the Goodwill in Oakland, Maryland. Holy mackerel. Look at that. Three dollars. Now, people in the know understand what this is. This is made by a company called Blinko. B-L-E-N-K-O. I think they're out of West Virginia. But uh, this is one of their more famous designs. This uh, double-sided water pitcher. That's what this is. It never had a stopper. This is the way it was sold from the company. And um, they have various colors in this. This is, I believe, an 80s color. Um, it's not marked. They didn't mark any of their stuff, but they put a sticker on it. So the Blinko sticker is long gone. And the only way you know if this is Blinko is if you know. Now, there's another way. If you were to put this in a Google Lens image and snap it, it would bring up Blinko immediately. So use your Google Lens. If you're unfamiliar with uh, forms of glass, because if you bring it up on Google Lens, it'll tell you what it is, usually. Sometimes it does not. But this is a pretty iconic design. This was $3. I'm going to sell this for $48. Bucks. I expected this price tag to say $8, $10. They clearly did not look this up. And I was thrilled. I mean, I was truly jazzed to walk out of there with this for $3. Knowing it's worth about 50 bones. All right, I spent $23.50 on everything. $23.50, everybody. And when it's all said and done, mostly through my boots at the Antique Mall, a lot of great stuff. I'm going to make $211 off of 23 
So even in kind of a uh, off week, I'm still at 200 bucks profit almost. So you can do it too. Get out, get out that Google lens. Find those Blinkos. All right, we're down to our giveaway. Are we ready to find out who wins the little girl with all her appendages and limbs? No cracks, no chips to you. Let's get it. Let's see who wins. Let's get out the prize wheel, everybody. There it is. I wish you all the best. Thanks for watching. Good luck out there. Oh, the drums are back. I almost didn't even notice. Bex! Bex is the winner. Always commenting. Always trying to win this prize. Congratulations, Bex. I don't know where you live. In the comments, tell me where you live. Remember to email me at midmodmoney at gmail.com with your address. I will send the adorable little girl right to your house. Hey, do me a favor. Hit like, hit subscribe. Get in on the next contest if you weren't on this one. Thanks for watching. And remember to always round up.